What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Brad Schick here with another disc review. I just got in the brand new Paul Macbeth Athena. I'm looking forward to throwing it. Stick around to check out the review. I'm going to do this up against a Undertaker uh, and kind of see how they feel. So check it out. Here we go guys. So I brought out the ESP, or I'm sorry, the Titanium Undertaker. I thought this actually felt the most similar to the to the actual Athena. So we have the Athena, the, the blue one here. Nice skinny lip. The one thing you're gonna notice, and I'll try to do this in the pictures, is the lip is just a little bit deeper on the Athena versus the Undertaker. But in your hand, feels very similar. The lip sizes are almost identical. Um, and so I'm just curious to see how they fly. We have the Undertaker at a 9.5, negative 1.2. This one doesn't have flight numbers yet, so I'll be curious to see how much more stable uh, or overstable it is than the uh, Undertaker. So let's give it a shot, see how it goes, guys. Okay, guys, in all these throws, I'm gonna try to give the Undertaker a throw first. I'm gonna let this go on a flat release and then go with the brand new Athena and see how it goes, so. Both on a pretty low release, very straight. Athena finished a little bit, but uh, not a great throw. Let's try it again. Okay, I'm gonna start Undertaker, then go to the Athena. Flat release, about 75% power. Kind of slipped a little bit. The finish is a slightly bit more overstable on the Athena. Undertaker pretty straight. Uh, just kind of pulled that over, but good feel so far. So both of those went about 330, almost the exact same distance. Uh, Undertaker just a little bit longer. So I try again back to a flat 75% release power. That was a tad bit more hyzer than I wanted. Go with the Athena. There you can really get a sense of that finish. It's just a tad bit more than the Undertaker is, but good feel again, I like it. Okay, so again, the Undertaker just a little bit further, about 15 feet. Athena finished a little more left, a little bit shorter, so. I'm gonna to try to give these a little bit of an Anheuser release and see if I can get them to come back, see how they differ, so. Bit more of a turn on the Athena versus the Undertaker. The Undertaker slipped a little bit, so see it came out a little faster though. Okay, let's give one more Anheuser release, see how these come out. Undertaker, Athena. Okay guys, just to wrap up, after 10 minutes, initial thoughts of throwing this thing. In the hand, feels almost identical to an Undertaker. Lip size, almost identical. Just a little deeper maybe on the rim. 
Flight-wise, again, I think the titanium in this plastic for the Undertaker is probably the most overstable. So this is why I picked it. And there's a lot of similarities in these two discs. I think the Athena does finish just a slight bit more. May not have reflected so much in the video. I was turning this a little harder, I feel like, and just coming over it. But I think when I was throwing it sidearm and even in slower speeds, just a little bit more finish. Um, maybe a tad bit slower, but very similar. So first initial thoughts, I love it. I, I think it might actually get in the bag. I want to say uh, I got to get out and throw it a little more though, to be honest. So 10 minutes isn't really putting something directly into the bag for me. So shout out to Paul Macbeth putting out another hot one and uh, hope you guys get a chance to throw it soon. So thanks for watching. If you're not already subscribed, please do leave a comment. Let me know what you think and what you want to see. See you guys.